Hi and welcome to uh, my vlog on self-publishing. I'm Wayne and I'm the author of Broken Ceasefire and Xander's Salvation which are available on Amazon under my author name of W.A. Blinko. In this video I'm going to run through the process that I go through when I put together a TikTok video and also how I'm using TikTok for basically free advertising and um, I believe it is having some success. I've seen book sales go up a little bit in the last couple of weeks and uh, yep yeah, without further ado I'm going to jump onto the process. If you find this video helpful then just leave a comment in the box below and if there's anything that you're doing on TikTok that I'm not and you think it would be help me improve what I'm doing then I'm always open to uh, suggestions. So without further ado here's what I do on TikTok. Right for the purpose of this video I'm going to assume you've already got TikTok open the app and hit the plus button then select templates the template that i'm going to use is the morphing template i use the morphing template as it's easy to use and i think the effects of it are really good select the images that you want to use on your particular template then once they have been selected and you're happy the next stage is to select background music each template has its own background music but you can personalize this by hitting the music tab on the bottom left corner. Select the tune that you like. Now for Samuel Jackson I've used Star Wars because it's all relevant to him and the content that I'm doing. Now hit the sticker tab and this will allow you to add the cover of your book. Select it from your uh, photo library as long as you've got it stored on your mobile device. Once you've uploaded it you can then resize it using the pinch and zoom motion of your two fingers. You can also twist it around and play about with the image until you're happy with it and locate it where you want. I always go for the top right hand corner as I feel this is enough for the image to be noticed without it being a distraction. So what I do next is write the text for the video. Generally this would be trivia from the film or the actor that the video is all about. So you use the keyboard function for this. You can copy and paste text in straight away. And then you also select the style, the colour and the general appearance of what you want on your screen. So once you've written the, the text itself, so at the moment this is just Samuel Jackson, you can then select how long it appears on screen for. And this is just the sliding function at the bottom once you've selected duration. And I generally have the text on screen for about one second. This is to, um, it's there so that people can read it and hopefully if they don't get time to read it they'll re-watch the video which will help with views and the algorithm on TikTok. So this is where I've copied and pasted some text in and I just need to edit it by deleting it down and making it short snippets so that it stands there for one second before the next part of the uh, sentence moves along. So again just select the duration and image and where it goes as well so you can have it at any point and along the timeline of the video and then just narrow it down to one second that's what I do the other option you have with text is you can resize it and you do this with the zoom in and out pinch motion as you did with the image you can also spin it around and place it wherever you want so again just to keep the viewer in interacted and interested in the video I try and stagger the text sometimes so that it doesn't just show up continuously they have to look for it on screen so next up is video description and hashtags so the video description for this one is just simply Samuel Jackson and then you just type in hashtags as you would for a YouTube video so just like YouTube hashtags are used for TikTok to index your video and get it out to people that are interested in the topics of discussion. Um, so some of the hashtags will have billions of views. It's good to use a varied mix of popular hashtags with some obscure ones. As, as I say, because if you're using a hashtag that's got 3 billion views, then you're competing against that many people. One thing that I have done as well, and if you're starting off with TikTok, it's be quite good to have a unique hashtag to use specifically. My one is Sci-Fi One, and I only started using it recently, just so that I can keep an idea of how many people have actually been watching my videos. 
using your own hashtag really is optional it won't affect your video in any shape or form it just allows you to keep track of how many people have actually viewed your videos i've done over 300 videos and it would just be nice if i knew exactly how many people had been watching them i estimate it approximately around about six and a half to seven million views but i won't know because i didn't use that hashtag for until recently if you hit select underneath the image then this allows you to select the thumbnail image that you want for your video you, again you use the timeline at the bottom of the screen run your finger along it and select the image that you wish to have as your thumbnail you can add a title by selecting the banners at the bottom of the screen that's the different styles and then you just type your title in and upload it the um, title that you see will only appear on the thumbnail so you've got no worries of it interrupting with your main video and then once that's all done you have to select either publish or draft I put this particular video into my drafts as I just wanted to create this video to show you guys how I do my TikTok videos. So I only learned how to do stickers and get the cover of my book after the uh, Bridget Bardot video. As you can see in uh, Audrey Hepburn's video, it doesn't take up too much room and that's what I was saying about having the cover just in the top right hand corner, it doesn't detract too much. Unfortunately on Sean Bean I forgot to use the sticker emoji um, function and didn't have a cover of my book on there but there you go that's just a rundown of what I do and how I'm using TikTok at the moment so once you're lucky enough to have a thousand followers on TikTok TikTok will allow you to put a internet link in your bio this link can go absolutely anywhere so it can go to your website and as you can see on my one I've chosen to link it with my book Broken Ceasefire I will be updating this to include the latest edition and Xander's Salvation. And um, yeah, it's just another way of using TikTok to drive traffic to your website or your book sales that are available anywhere on the net. So up next, I just want to briefly run through some of the analytics for my channel over the last week or so. Um, you'll see that I've posted a video every single day because that's what it's done. It's, it shows you recent posts. And then it also shows you trending videos. And as you can see with the trending videos, I've got quite a few views. And the point of this is just to highlight how easy it is to get eyes on your books for nothing. This hasn't cost me a penny to do other than my time. And I can't imagine how much it would cost in advertising just to get 10,000 people to have a look at your book on Amazon. So there you go, that's the process that I go through when it comes to using TikTok. If you've got any hints or suggestions that you think that I could benefit from, then please do put them in the box below. Otherwise, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.